And now for our cowboy hat. As you can see, I've chosen white for this particular hat because I like to be the good guy. I've got four white 260s, two of which are inflated, leaving about an inch and a half on the end, two of which are inflated, leaving just enough to tie them together. I'm going to start with these two, the two that are almost inflated all the way. What I'll do is I'll take the knot end of one, the nipple end of the other, tie them together. This is going to have a really large brim. Gives it more of a comical effect. And, hey, I'm from Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. So then we're going to go to the other end and do the same thing. Tie the other nozzle and nipple in together. So now we've created one humongous loop. And this is going to be, as you can tell, a very large brim. Makes it really entertaining and fun. Put that out of the way for a moment. Now we're going to take our other two, and we'll just pick one of them, doesn't matter which. Measure your person's head. Now what you want to do, I'm going to twist it where I just measured it. Make a giant fold to it, like I was going to make a helmet. But now what I'm going to do is take, make a half inch bubble, make that a pinch twist, and then I'm going to go up not quite halfway on this, oh, about seven or eight inches. Make a bubble. So we've got about a seven inch bubble sticking up, and I'm going to make a half inch bubble and a pinch twist on that. And I'm going to take and lay it alongside it. And I want another bubble the same size as this one that's sticking up. Twist it back into that pinch twist there. And I'm going to pop this excess off with this. You know what? I'm going to leave it on there. We're going to leave it sticking out like that. And you'll see why in a moment. This is, there's two versions I make of this set. Sometimes I'll attach the brim here, but I'm going to leave that because I can attach it there. We got what looks like a very strange rabbit hat that we developing here. Now we're going to take and our part that we measured around their head, divide it into two equal sections, just like that. Now we're going to take our other white 260 we have left over. What we want to do with it is now we've got. The one sticking up with a pinch twist on top. Twist into that pinch twist. And you want this, this top bubble here, to be slightly shorter than the one that goes around their head. So I'll make it just a little bit shorter than that. And I'm going to make a pinch twist there. So what I've done is made this long bubble, a half inch bubble, and a pinch twist. Now I need a bubble the same size as this here, coming down to the back of this hat. Out like that. I'm going to twist that into that part of the right of the back there. And then I'm going to make a half inch bubble and make a pinch twist there. And then I'm going to come back up and twist that back into that top up there, that top pinch twist. And then I'm going to come back across to the other pinch twist here. Now what I need to do, because I'm going to need a piece to match this, when I pop this off, I want to keep some of it inflated. So I take that off, tie it, just like that, so that I'll get a bubble about the same size as that one. And let's secure this loose end up here. And then we're going to take this piece I have left over, and remember this is the part that here, that measured around their head. And this is where we went up. And we're going to come to the back over here and attach this to that fat pinch twist on the other end. Just like that. So now you've got, that's the basic the brim of the hat, or the, the top of the hat. There we go. And I'll kind of open it up a little bit. Shape it a little. Now we're going to take our giant loop that we made earlier. Doesn't matter which end you start with. Take these ones that are sticking out and twist a little bubble there on the end of it. And then one of our joints on this other one, I'm going to connect that right there. And then to help make sure it's going to stay right, I'm going to take one of these sides here, doesn't matter which side, twist a small half inch bubble into it and make that into a pinch twist. And that'll help it kind of lay right. Just like that. And then we're going to come to the other side. You 
see how we're looping that across here. This is going to have one huge brim. I don't know if you can see all of that on the camera here. I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to twist a little small bubble in there. Bring the other joint. Twist it in there. And then again, I'm going to take one of these and you can look and see if one is slightly larger than the other. Use that one if they're about the same. It doesn't matter. Make the little half inch bubble there. Make that into a pinch twist as well. And then I'll take, you can see this is a very large cowboy hat. On the sides, I'll go out about four or five inches and kind of pinch it up a little bit to give it some shaping. Sort of like the cowboy hat there. And you'll want to position these bubbles so that it's going to lay kind of flat. Sometimes you have to work with it just a little bit to get it to cooperate. But once you get it there, Let's put it on this head so you can see it. We've got a jumbo Texas size cowboy hat. Yeah.